miles away Said what the things you say Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel, it's your girl Shan, and today I'm coming at you with my blonde natural hair care routine, as well as a q and A. I'm going to talk about products and styling and everything, so if you're interested in that, let's get right into it. The first question that I got was, did I get my curls back, did they come back, and as you can see here, yes, my curls did revert back from the time that I got a silk press. Um, the second question that I got was what specific products I use, mainly shampoo and conditioner. And here, this is the shampoo that I've been using, the L'Oreal Vitamino Color. The product obviously is specifically tailored towards colored hair. It's actually the products that were recommended to me at the salon where I got my hair done. Um, it's super non-drying, it's very efficient at cleaning hair, and it smells really nice. Because the shampoo is super non-drying, I've been able to do a double shampoo, which has been really important to me because I like my hair to be super, super clean so that my products, my moisturizers and everything can absorb much better. I'm done rinsing out my shampoo and another question that I got in the Q&A was did my curl pattern loosen or change after bleaching and before I answer that I quickly wanted to show you the mask that I've been using this is the mask that I've been using on my hair um, right after my shampoos so I don't personally think that my curl pattern loosened after bleaching my hair. If you go back to my previous natural hair videos and compare, I feel like my curl pattern is the same. The only thing that would be different is because now that it's blonde, you can very clearly see the curl pattern, which when it was black, you it wasn't very visible. So I think that could be a reason why somebody would think that it loosened. Another question I got is if my hair felt dry after I dyed it, and this is 1000% yes. My hair did feel very, very dry after I dyed my hair. It was kind of shocking. It literally felt like straw, and I was like, OMG, like this is what they talk about when you bleach your hair. But once I got over that shock, I realized, you know, I have to adjust my products to my bleached hair so i started using heavier moisturizers heavier sealants and that really helped retain the moisture Once I'm done applying the mask and letting it sit for 10 minutes, I'm going to go ahead and rinse it out. As you guys can see here, I rinse it out thoroughly, making sure to squeeze out any, any remaining product. And a question I did get a lot was how do I retain moisture and avoid dry ends? Um, if you guys don't know, I do have a leave-in conditioning routine that I do in the shower, which I'm doing right now. And this is the product that I've been using for that. I love this product because it's super thick and it's really, really good at coating my strands and moisturizing my hair thoroughly. And a trick to retaining moisture, for me at least, is when applying the leave-in conditioner, I apply it to soaking wet hair while I'm still in the shower. And that's what I'm doing here. As you can see, I'm really saturating my hair, squeezing the product into my hair. And here I am tying my hair up so that I can actually like wash my body. Once I'm done showering and moisturizing and everything, I'm gonna come back to my hair, which was in a t-shirt, kind of semi-drying. Um, here is my hair after the wash. It feels super soft because of the leave-in, and now I'm gonna go ahead to style the hair. The 
before I get into styling, I just wanted to give you guys another texture shot because you guys had a lot of questions about my curl pattern and my texture. And here I just wanted to show you guys clear as day. You guys can go back to my previous hair videos and compare for yourselves. But the way it feels and the way my hair acts and looks for me is very similar, if not the same, as before I bleached my hair. But moving on to styling, I'm going to be doing... I don't even know what to call it. It's basically a flat twist, but braids. It's cornrows, basically. I'm trying to make it sound fancy. It's basically just cornrows on my head. And my moisturizers that I'm using, I'm, I'm reapplying the leave-in that I used in the shower just to extra, extra moisture. And then I'm going to seal with a shea butter. I only have been using heavy products because i tried to use an oil to seal this other day and my hair literally felt dry the next day it felt like i didn't moisturize so i've realized that with my bleached hair i have to be very heavy on the product just to make sure my hair can retain as much moisture as possible As you can see here, I'm also trying to focus that product on my ends as well. When I bleach my hair, because I did have some split ends, like they kind of got worse after I bleached my hair. That's why it's super important to bleach your hair when it's at its maximum health, no split ends, nothing. But I did end up trimming my hair after this video. If you follow me on Instagram, you saw it. I will insert a picture here as well. Um, but yeah, this is how my hair was looking after I braided the back section and then I moved on to the front as well. Once my hair was completely braided, I did go in with a scalp oil. This is my favorite from Glowforce, and I just rubbed that throughout the hair. I really think that this product was responsible for the amount of growth I've seen. Like, why is my hair already showing black? Like, anyways, then I throw on my bonnet and I go to sleep. In the morning my hair as you can see has shrunk just a bit but because it's in cornrows it's a bit more stretched out than if i did just regular braids or regular twists in my hair and i'm gonna go ahead and remove the braids one question that i did get a lot is do i have to moisturize more often does it get dry quicker and the answer is absolutely yes it does when you bleach your hair you're removing a layer like off of your hair strands so it's more perceptible to dryness and yes i have to moisturize more often i don't find that to be annoying personally because i do want my hair to be at it's healthiest even if it's bleached i want it to still remain as healthy as possible moving on to styling for the first day i did just a simple bun because even though my hair was kind of stretched out due to the style it was still too shrunken to do the styles that i usually like to do like lower buns and stuff so i just opted for a top bun because it's easier to do on shrunken hair and this is how it looked after i laid my edges and styled it a bit i don't really like top buns but for a wash day pre-wash day no post wash day style this is the easiest thing to do for me the next day i did the same cornrows that i had done the night previously and this time i wanted to do a puff so i'm going to be combing out all of the sections and making sure everything is super duper detangled and then i tie the puff at the top of my head and yeah that has been how i've been rocking my blonde natural hair thank you so much for watching this video and i will see you in my next one